Hi everyone. Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So happy 12th of December. We're halfway through. So after today, another 12 days to go. Then it's Christmas Eve and then it's the big day. Woo! Uh, just a quick show. Um, I've finished my Squid Games key rings and I've sealed them now so there's no more stickiness, which is brilliant. Um, the little chain's fitted through, which is great. And I've got the little lobster claw clasps on. God, that's difficult to say. Which, uh, yeah, as I said before, are a nice quality little uh, clasp there. So that's good. You know when you get your gems um, and they're, they've put the colour on the wrong side, you know, particularly with the sparkly gems. Um, well, that's what that, that number was. You know, I said uh, on the unboxing, I wasn't sure why they'd done black and black. Well, actually, these are black on the bottom and then like a grey coloured diamond. So it's just giving it that little bit. I don't know whether you can quite. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can. Yeah, you can quite pick it up. Sorry, it is quite dark again today. So, yeah, so it was a contrast. Um, so I take it back. It wasn't two blacks that they'd put in the packet. And it shows up more on this one because this little guy has actually got a gun which I didn't realise until I did them. So they're the guards that uh, were the nasty guards, shall we say. But yeah, the key rings have all gone on. So they definitely needed sealing. But once they were sealing, seal, sealing. <laughs> once they were sealed, they were fine. Um, what I did, I diamond painted one side first, uh, let that sort of set. And then I actually then sealed um, the side that I'd done so that that wasn't sticky to the touch and the gems weren't moving and then I, I flipped them over and did the other side and sealed that and then I've just got the key rings put on and then here she is the scary doll and yeah she's actually got socks on so she hasn't got different coloured um, arms and legs it's actually the different colour on the socks there look I think you can just make that out so yeah it's amazing once you get things done and um, what they actually look like and now because i've sealed it the faces aren't sticky anymore either you couldn't have not sealed these because you'd just have ended up with all fluff sticking to a face <laughs> and who wants a fluffy face unless you're a nice little cute dog so that's all my squid games keychains all done um so i did have two spare sets left over which is great they can be used on something else and I did have lots of gems left over as well in fact the only uh, for getting the two packs the only gems I had to open um, were the red and the black everything else I've still got in sealed packets so there was enough gems nearly to do two sets um, just from using one lot of gems so that was quite good uh, not quite sure what I'm going to do with them all I do think uh, Ugly Ducklings Charity is going to get a lot of gems and things after Christmas. Anyway, let's get on to the unboxing. So let's just open this up and have a look and see what we've got. Ooh, number 12 is the big one at the top. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, it's quite a fat one as well. Oh, quite a rattle, quite a rattle. Something very, very loose in there going from one side to the other so let's have a look oh ooh, 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 ooh. oh two of my favorite colors together oh, look at that and it's got like sparkles in it i think they are gems whether you can get close up i think are they gems or are they just particles they may be just particles of glitter but they are large but yeah, it's uh, wow, like that, like that, purple and turquoise, two of my favourites, not hot pink, but yeah, that's brilliant, oh, like that, it's got um, a, a fat three placer on it and your single placer there, but we have got these tips here, haven't we, so let's see if we can put one of these in and I might actually start using this one today. So I am still diamond painting Santa Express. I'm running out of time. Wish me luck, wish me luck. Right, I want two little Doobery What's It's. Oh, there's one escape there. Look, there's one jumped onto me. Oh, everything wants to get out of these boxes. They must have been in for a long time. That's all I can think. 
just get this little band on there and then the one on the other end sorry it's not easy doing this away from you there you are so you put the two little bands onto there and that just gives you your extra grip and there are actually grooves to put those bands in as well which makes them really good quality and let's just take that one out and we'll put that one give it a really good shove down and there you are so we now have a lovely steel tipped placer single placer it's not coming out it's not I'm giving it quite a bit of force there it's not coming out there fits very snugly i could even put one on the other end if i wanted to and um, i have got my set of um catia uh, tips as well that i got i can't remember whether they came with a straightener or not it might have just been a set of tips but yeah so i can put that at the end but this is quite a nice thin pen and actually it's not too heavy but it's definitely um in a place where i would use it um sorry hold it use it where i would hold it i am quite a straight holder there so yeah i love that and that's definitely yeah worth the money that's a really what would you pay for these are they around about 10 pound between uh i think i've seen them six seven pound for maybe not one quite as nice as this but i would think maybe 10 to 15 pound for a sparkly one oh, i don't like the sparkles in it really like that yeah and now we've got our steel tip on as well and we did get our wax and we have got some gems and we have got those little mats that we've got in number two um so yeah i mean if you bought this for somebody um as a christmas present as i say they're opening each day by the time they get to number 12 they've even got an extra pen to start using and doing some as well but yeah it does hold nicely that and you can put your um placer on either end i think i prefer that end that's a little bit thinner for me to that end yeah but oh do like that so very good impressed with the number 12 catiod so we'll put these back away as i say i'm keeping them all together so we can have a look at the end and just see what we've got in all of them and i may actually keep it for next year um, and put my own things in but we'll just wait and see and number 13 is a little box again similar to these so we'll see what's in that little box tomorrow okay i'll pass you on to everybody else now be back in a bit this way okay so are we opening your advent calendar today and what's in number 12 can we find number 12 where's number 12 let me look there's number 12 look lily here's number 12 there it is there it is oh 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 it's the big ones again we aren't keen on the big ones are we we like the little ones better hey we've had big ones for a long time let's break them in half for you oh oh i can't they're a bit hard can you bite them you're not bothered about them okay got your little friend behind you that might want one. <laughs> oh, his hat's gone around the back <laughs> What's his hat round the front? Are you eating them? Shall I bring your other friend to say hello? Look, your other friend will have them. <laughs> Shall we give that Scotty one? Oh no. Everyone likes to say fancy picking a puppy up with his neck, right? <laughs> so, Scotty dog Christmas tree. While Millie's chomping. Got a lovely bike on the top there and our little woolly scotty we got last year and our little wooden scotties from i think crafty giraffe and that's Maisie's. oh that's one that matches our christmas bedding and then that's one that i made last year with a poinsettia on and that's one we got from i think belgium from belgium from a shop in belgium so yeah we have a separate scotty dog Christmas tree and then the mantelpiece we have the little Scotty dogs and we have the Santa with the Scotty dog sleigh and then all the little pottery Scotties all dressed up there 
And Millie's saying, what are you doing now? So is that it for today, Millie Mo? Say, see you tomorrow. Come back tomorrow for more fun. Say bye for now. Number 12's over there, look, next to the drumstick. Oh, oh you got the hang of it now. What's that one? How many somethings? Individual love hearts. Coming down the conveyor. All oh, right. Oh, that drumstick. Oh, another drumstick. Oh, well, never mind. We'll come back tomorrow, won't we? We'll come back tomorrow. Are you waiting? You don't like drumsticks. <laughs> Right. See you tomorrow. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed today's and seeing the little Scotty Christmas tree, which was quite sweet. Um, I've collected them for quite a while. So if you want to pop back tomorrow, uh, see what's in number 13 and see what we get up to next, then if you press that subscribe button and the little bell next to it, you'll be notified of uh, everything that's coming up. So thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to press that like button. Bye for now.